Jumbo. This is general economics with Kihumba. In this video, we are going to look at exemptions to the law of demand. Previously, we introduced the law of demand. We mentioned that Ceteris Paribas, there is an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded of a product. This relationship we noted in the previous video that it is the reason why the demand curve slopes downward from left to right and it has a negative slope throughout its length. I would encourage you to watch the previous video in, um, if you haven't on the law of demand before proceeding with this particular video. However, we have instances where the demand curve slopes upward from left to right and it has a positive slope. Under the circumstances, the consumer will buy more when price of the commodity is rising and less as its price falls as shown by the demand curve B in our figure one. You observe that as price goes up, price as usual is on our, on our Y axis and quantity demanded is on our X axis. As price goes up, we end up with more quantities being demanded, which is against the law of demand, and such situations we refer to them as exemptions to the law of demand. There are many causes that are attributed to an upward sloping demand curve. And one of them is during war. If a shortage is feared, in anticipation of war or violence or epidemic like COVID, people may start buying for building stock or for holding even when prices is rising. In the recent, with the COVID outbreak in the country, Kenya, in March, we saw people buying many items to stock. Even though prices were being high, they bought sanitizers at very high prices because they anticipated there would be shortage. The second scenario where would have people buying less, even though prices are low, is during periods of depression. We find that during depression, the prices of commodities are very low and the demand for them is also less. This is attributed to lack of purchasing power with consumers. But, but what exactly is a depression? No. Economic growth normally over economic growth over time normally goes in cycles. We have cycles of boom where we've got so much, and we've got cycles of recession where very little is being bought or the growth rate is too low. Now, depression, we have situations where we've got even negative growth rates. And during that time, people do not have purchasing power. Another reason why the law may not apply is because of given paradox. Some goods, which are necessities of life, have got what we refer to as given paradox. If, say, the, the necessity of life is uga or ugali, and the prices of ugali goes up, you'll find that people will curtail the consumption of more expensive goods like meat and fish. And with ugali, sorry, I wrote here wheat, but with ugali being still the cheapest food, they will buy more of it. Though its prices are going up and they'll give up consumption of more expensive commodities. Um, demonstration effect, some goods, have got what we refer to as demonstration effect. In, in other words, people who consume them will consume them because of conspicuous consumption or they want to demonstrate because those goods confer distinction on the user. Uh, and therefore, when their price rises, they would want to buy more of them. 
And on the other hand, with the fall in price of such articles, their demand falls. This is the case with diamonds, high ed phones, high ed mobile phones, jewelries, hats of work, luxury cars, etc. You'll find that people don't want to buy more of those articles when their price goes up. Eh? It is important to notice that for both given paradox and demonstration effect in note number three and number four, is that the effect of income on consumer purchase depends on the nature of the goods. And there are two types of goods. They could be normal goods. And with normal goods, these are the goods that we find that with increase in income, consumer buy more of them. And then we've got inferior goods. These are goods whose demand fall with increase in income of the consumer. Now, a highly inferior good is a given good. Highly inferior good. Eh? Now, normal goods on the other side, they, they could be necessities, they could be luxuries, or they, 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 they could just be normal goods. Eh? High-end luxuries are those goods that confer, uh, uh, that confer distinction. Uh, and therefore, consumers will tend to buy more of them even when price goes up. Eh? But with normal goods, the usual normal goods, you find that as their price or the income of the consumer goes up, they tend to buy more of those. Now, the other way that the law of demand does not apply is when some goods are necessities of life. It will not apply to necessities of life, even when prices go up. Because, okay, this is closely related to the given paradox that we spoke about. But some goods are necessity. Medicine, life-saving medicine. It doesn't matter how much their price would go up. Uh, those things that we must consume. Education, they are necessities of life. Uh, and therefore, they are not affected by the law of demand. So, to summarize, I would want to mention that we have a situation where the law of demand doesn't apply. And in those instances where the law of demand does not apply, we say we have exceptions to the law of demand. And instead of the demand curve sloping downwards to from left to right, we find that the demand curve will slope upward from right to left, like in this case. All right. So thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. This has been Kehuba with General Economics. Thank you.